Let's look at this page. Uh, we are going to become a global village in the world, and the internet has short the distance between us, such as uh, this, uh, this time the Apache Kong home. I am in China, but you, you do not in China, but we can together. We can see that the network quality is getting higher and higher, and more and more data are being trans, uh, transmitted. Especially in the last two years, the growth of the digital information has been very rapid. We are experiencing information is boom explosion. Each of us was uh, also creating data at a faster rate. Everyone can feel that the uh, 2G, 3G, and 5G have brought a great change to our life. The way uh, those data are exposed to the outside world is API. Even some video surveys had begun to try use the ADP protocol. I am a backend developer. I found that more and more enterprise are using microservices, and the microservices can cause a number of microservice instances. So, what exactly does microservice provide? The answer is is very very simple. API. As number of microservices increase, the Dependence among them become more and more complex. In the developer world, what you see is the dependency between API, which become, becomes complicated. If we still manage a large number of surveys directly on the virtual machine, it's very difficult and unacceptable. Then we saw the new technology, containers and the cloud native. The container allows us to free distribute our software in an easy and unified way. In addition, the cloud native elastic scaling feature is very helpful for uniform management of the microservice. I do not know how to close my, my video. <laughs> We have known that under the cloud native, the states of internal node change very frequently. Uh, the states of those nodes is likely to change every minute and every second. Mm, let me make a try. Click. Okay. I close my video, just show. Mm -hmm. I will continue my topic. Uh, the gateway project for the enterprise users. Each enterprise user will have some custom things. For example, uh, safety certificate and so on. Mm -hmm. So we need a way to supply a simple and powerful kind of feature that's very friend and mm -hmm. enterprise user. We'll just mention some background if we want to support them, how to resolve them mm -hmm. technically. Mm -hmm. Then we can start a new question. The new question is, what features should the cloud native API gateway should have? Here, I mean a brave list. First of all, it must have the basic API gateway feature, which can bound, handle the ingress traffic normally. The second is a cloud native API gateway. It must support the containers and able to support dynamic scale. Mm -hmm. Our user can freely adjust the number of gateway nodes. Since the gateway, since the state of Microsoft uh, microservice node change frequently and there's a cloud native uh, system. We need to support the basic features such as dynamic routing or dynamic load balancing. 
Another thing is the high performance and the low latency is important. Everyone is no longer interested in static routing or other implement, uh, implementations because every, every time the routing is updating, we need to restart, it's unacceptable. At last, we need to support the plugin. User can implode the new plugin according, according their needs. For example, we can the user can use Lua code to implode the new plugin. But if possible, the low code is better. The low code means that it cannot be customized without right any code. Then the API gateway can support this feature. That's what the API 6 does. Based on those problems, the API 6 has made more considered and implemented those points one by one, so that the API 6 and the cloud native are very compatible. Let's take a look at the table. I believe you have noticed that latency here are very good only 0 0.2 million seconds. Finally, in addition to the plugs, the API 6 also support the plugin orchestration. Our user only needs to drag and drop to complete certain feature. I will play a video later, show you how it works. Until now, only API 6 support the plugin orchestration. Okay, the next one we, uh, we talk about is the history of the Apache API 6. Let me take a look at it. Record here are the main time points of Apache API 6. For example, we open source the project. After another round, we uh, include the CNCF landscape as a donut. Apache in October last year. Uh, it's about nine months of the incubation and the support for more plugins as, for example, the Skywalkings. API 6 successfully graduated from Apache and become a top level project in June this year. Let's then Let's take a look at the implementation architecture of the Apache API 6. That's the picture. By looking at its basic architecture of Apache API 6, you can know how close it is to the cloud native. Through this picture, we can roughly divide it into two parts. One is the data plane and the other is the control plane. The configuration center is the uh, of uh, API 6 use the EDCD. For the EDCD, I believe many people are familiar with it. We use it as a configuration center. In addition, it supports high available uh, availability very well. The date plan is actually some stateless nodes. It depends on the date from the EDCD cluster. The control plan can actually some stateless uh, node too. They set any node in the ETCD cluster and save to save and distribute the configuration. One more thing, API 6 is also powered very well at a dynamic scale. If our data plan is busy, then we can increase the, uh, the API nodes. If the data plan is idle, then we can reduce the number of nodes. Those features are already built in. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, ecology of the uh, API 6. First of all, for the cloud native API gateway, it must be compared with the cloud platform. If it needs to work well with the container like the KBIS or the Docker, virtual machines on the cloud such as cloud platform host need to be supported. 
Therefore, support for the virtual machine, uh, physical machine is also needed. Help user to make more transmit, tran uh, transmit to the cloud gateway system, which is very, has a very value. In addition to the familiar x86 structure, the Apache API 6 also support the ARM structure. On the right side, we can see many other familiar open source components, such as uh, Prometheus, Grafana, Kafka, and so on. You can see from the center of the picture, the core of API 6 is mainly about the plugins. Those plugins can be combined in any way through the plugin orchestration. Happy and interesting, uh, finally, about Begin. Let me show you a video, show you what is the plugin orchestration. Here, orchestration. The user drop a plugin, the name is UI blocker, and drop another plugin. It's a condition, and they connect them. The third connect plugin is a fault injection and connect them when success. Kafka logger plugin and the connection them. <clears throat> so that will set the right value rules. For example, the rule in exe and the rules and the record is set the condition, condition to and then we need to update the full rejection, hit our DAG, return 200. Let me make a try, verify. Okay, hit. That's the part of API 6. Then we can talk about the Observability. I wrote a basic uh, definition. Let me take a look at. Generally detail, uh, generally detailed telemetry dates for all API. They are very important. Those tele, um, telemetry to provide the observability of the API behavior. We can use them to troubleshooting opportunity or application and the server de uh, developer do not need to do anything for this. Those data can be roughly divided into three categories. The first is the metric, meaning count the number of the repetitions, time distribu uh, distribution, and so on, and will be aggregated the original date. For the logging, meaning the common error log information, which is contains the system error or the process information. They are very useful for the Ops. At the end, we need the tracing analysis. size. Only in this way, we can display the calling relationship between different nodes. Let me take a look at how the API 6 choose. We can got uh, uh, this result for the matrix way, mainly use the promises. If we choose promises, we mainly use the Prometheus, Grafana, and the Plus the Outer Manager. For the logging, mainly use the ELK way. Uh, mainly use the, it based on the elastic search, it's easy to read and parse the error or access log. For the tracing and the size, we mainly choosing the Apache Sky walking. Here we show a picture. So that why I just mentioned that the tree is very important. But why? That's a picture. We can create our relationship with a very simple ex example. We need to know something. What is the relationship between the microservice? Uh, we need to know that the full parts of a request. And we need to know that uh, whether there is a problem at the each node in the request process, and then you can know the step information of each node. If the tracing of the gateway is missing, 
is very bad because it's not a full path because he is the entry. Why we need the API observability? No, here. Why we command the Apache Sky working? Let me introduce it. Uh, let me introduce it. Uh, the first is it's a APM system, especially designed for the microservice, and it's a cloud native and container based architecture. Uh, also, our function are very different, but our environment is the same. Uh, let's first talk about the technical advantage of sky walking. The first is it supports multi gun props. It supports Golang, Python, PHP, and so on. Uh, even it supports Lua language. I think you can use it uh, boundary. The second is it supports many open source projects. For example, the Tomcat or other things. We still can find more, uh, more advantage. For example, it supports the micro kernel. It's very useful, very useful. And for the uh, micro kernel plugin architecture, so you can choose uh, your database. For example, you can choose the TiDB, MySQL, or H2. Find the one we would like. There was one thing I want to um, say something. Uh, it can support to alarm directly. It's very easy for uh, for something. Just learn the skywalking. It's easy to use. At the end, the skywalking dashboard is beautiful. It's beautiful. Uh, here are some other reasons at least here um, why we recommend the Apache Sky working because it was an um, Apache Foundation project, same as the API 6 the software uh, foundation project. We have the same genius and we we uh, follow the community over code, we can grow together. Uh, for the Apache Sky working community is very active. Uh, that's very, very important for every uh, every open source project. Uh, if you choose open source project, I suggest you mainly pay attention to this part based on the uh, open tracing. And I think more and more product will use the uh, uh, protocol. Uh, design for the scale. That's very useful too. A modern system must support the dynamic scale. Okay, let's take a look at the Apache Skywalking dashboard. When you install, uh, install the Apache Skywalking dashboard, here is the home page. You can, can you can view the global page. In this page, we can see the most important things. For example, here is the slow service, and something is the unhealthy service. They have uh, help us to find them and put them on the, on the home page. Then, if we want to fix someone, for example, we, we want we want to fix this one, then we can click it. Then we have got this page. In this page, we it will show more detail of the uh, service. For example, we can got the service average response time or the success rate. It's very useful. Ah, for this page, it's very, very <laughs> interesting. Uh, this typology map is very interesting. Look at this picture. Mm, does it feel familiar? If you are a network manager, I think you should know that the net it's more like the network uh, 
topology. Uh, through this map, we can see the relationship between all service nodes and healthy states between them. On the left and the right side, we can see the metric of the service after selecting a service node. It's very useful. When we want to click, uh, we want to check something detail, so we can click the trace tab. Each sub trace will be displayed here. If we want to know the detailed information, then we can get it in here. It's useful. Currently, we mainly using the sky working for tracing other sites and improve the observability of API 6. Uh, when we use more, we found that the sky working can do more things than we expect as before. Uh, for example, uh, some surveys metrics we saw right now. I'm thinking about this question. Uh, will Skywalking also support a log uh, connection later? I think this is meaningful. There is one case. For example, we found lots of requests and some of them, the re response code of them is 500. Then we need to load the error log and aggregate them, try to match try to find which of them are related to the metrics. Then, and the response code is 500. Then we can make a trace to confirm who is the requester. At the end, we can put all of the information to the ops. And then our ops can deal with it. This case is very common and it is useful. At the end, uh, say something. If you have any question, please leave a message on the mail list on the GitHub issues. Uh, here are the Apache official address for the API 6 and Sky Walking. Uh, thank you so much for listening. I'm Yuan Wang. Many thanks for your time. <laughs> okay, thank you. If you have any question, you can leave a message. Maybe I can Okay, thank you again. I will leave. Bye bye.